Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you again. So I've been doing some research on cold storage. For many of you, where are you keeping your long-term Bitcoin holdings? I know the answer for many of you is going to be on an exchange and you know that that is a no-no if you are not actively trading. So let's say you've done the responsible thing and you've gone out and you've gotten yourself a Ledger Nano. Now you've put your Bitcoin onto the Ledger Nano and you are left with a paper copy of your seed phrase. Now that seed phrase is your wallet for all intents and purposes. That is how you can access your funds if your ledger should ever be stolen because you never know what might happen. You might lose it, there might be a fire, there might be a natural disaster, and you are going to be left with just your backup seed phrase to access what might be your life savings. But just as the Ledger Nano is susceptible to all of these things like fire and natural disaster, how much more so is your paper copy of your backup seed phrase? We need to securely store that backup seed phrase someplace. So what are your options? Are you going to leave it in a safety deposit box at a bank? Probably not. Are you going to keep it at your house? Well, if you keep it at your house, you are susceptible to all the same flaws that you have with your Ledger Nano. It is a physical thing. It is a physical thing that is susceptible to damage. If there is a fire, if there is a water leak, it could rot, mice could get into it. So I did some research online on how to best secure my seed phrase. And we know that the best option is going to be somehow engraving it onto metal. But for most individuals, you're not going to have an easy access to that. You can go to your local machinist and try to get it engraved on some piece of metal, but then you have to trust somebody to actually engrave it in, and most of you don't have the skill to do it yourself. So I found an attractive solution to just about anyone, and that solution is CryptoTag. Hey, you guys did not tell me it was going to be this heavy. I'm, I'm just saying. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm pretty excited. On my doorstep today showed up my new crypto tag. Okay. Okay, uh, before you get started, please visit CryptoTag.io tutorial. I have done that. All right, so foam pad comes off. And uh, this is this is neat. I, I don't know how else to describe this. This is neat. Uh, I like good stuff. All right, so let's let's see what we got. Um, we got home security device, obviously. Scott, come here. I just, Scott, Scott, come back. It's hard to find good help these days. All right, so we have a, a mallet. This is the uh, this is the crypto tag itself. It's actually pretty small, um, but this is where you will be storing. Uh, your seed phrase uh, after you engrave it with the tools that have been provided. It's pretty small. Obviously, it's quite discreet. You can hide this in a floorboard. You can put this in a safety deposit box. You can hide it in a vent. You can put it in a safe. You can slide it into your pocket if you are running from attackers. Two clips actually keep the two plates secure. That way you can actually have two copies, so two different seed phrases. And then we have our engraving pins. These are obviously the pins that we're going to be utilizing to 
in conjunction with the mallet to hammer our seed phrase into titanium for posterity. Finally, we have the engraving block. This is actually where the magic is going to happen, where we're going to insert our crypto tag. It's actually got a nice, uh, nice thick foam bottom so you can pretty much do this kind of wherever you want uh, without making your downstairs neighbors or neighbors want to murder you is probably the, the benefit of that. And of course, it comes with earplugs for your own protection. You're not going to be making industrial sound grade levels, but it's always important to protect your hearing. So make sure you use these guys. Come on. It's not that silly. This is the guiding rod. This is what you will actually insert each pin into so that you have accuracy. It lines up quite nicely with the tag once you have fitted it into the block. And then, of course, my favorite part, but I had a degenerate childhood, crypto tag matches. And these are for burning your private keys when you're done with them. Uh, guys, now, since I actually plan on using this crypto tag for my own purposes, I'm actually not going to engrave it, but I am going to show you guys how you would do it. So using the crypto tag is fairly straightforward. You're simply going to select the tag that you want to use. You're going to turn it around so that you do have the numbers in sequential order from one all the way down. You are going to be engraving your seed phrase here in titanium for posterity. And then you'll be using the matches to burn your paper copy of your seed phrase so that it is gone forever and that your only backup is in this permanent, indestructible for the most part, titanium crypto tag. So you're going to remove the guiding block from the block right here. And you are going to put the crypto tag into the block. Again, it does have this nice thick foam bottom so that you won't be disturbing your neighbors. And we will just simply set that right here and prepare it. All right, once you're done, you will simply take your guiding block and you will slide it into the first row. With earplugs securely in place, let's demonstrate how we would engrave our crypto tag. And I'm going to select the first character that corresponds to the correct letter of my seed phrase from the set of anvils. Make sure that you are positioning this the correct way. Obviously, do not put it in upside down or your letter will come up upside down. Just make sure that you are looking at it straight on and then turn it directly over to your left or your right. Insert it into the guide block. Hold it firmly in your hands. Position your mallet and give it a nice firm whack. Okay, that's all we need to do to engrave the first letter. It's possible that you might have to give it a couple more wax, especially if you have been on a soy diet for the last couple of years. But for those of you meat eaters out there, one good solid whack should be all that is required. So there you have it, guys. CryptoTag is easy to use. It is aesthetically pleasing. It... Didn't I have a jacket on? It is nigh indestructible according to crypto tag. This thing will live through a fire. This thing will live through uh, a water disaster. This thing will live through rot. This thing will not get chewed up by mice. And this thing can block bullets. So again, as I said earlier, if you are running from an enemy attacker and you slip this into your breast pocket, it just might save your life. If you would like to pick up a crypto tag, there is a link in the description down below where you can get one for yourself. Please let me know if you have any comments about your use of CryptoTag or about your experiences in keeping your backup seed phrase secure and your private keys, your private keys. Remember, not your keys, not your coins. Thank you guys for joining me for another video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until then, trade safely. Pull to open. Pull to open. Okay. From whence does it open? Do the old shimmy. Is that, is that, is that right? Did I do, is that the thing? Scott. I'm hearing stuff jangle. That's a good sign. Aha. There we go. Okay. It didn't open.